the camera's affixed to one man. He's been in terrific form, as evidenced by four goals in three games. Stay with us. And to learn from Humberside, the venue for this game is the K-Cole Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, and joined for commentary by former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. And we have action from the quarter-final stage of the FA Cup just moments away. City. Yeah, cheers, Derek. Well, what a big moment for this club and these fans. But as underdogs, you've got to put the pressure on early goals. You've got to use that home advantage, push back the team that's playing against you, and hopefully get a goal. The lineup looks for Hull City. A 4-4-2 with a slight tweet made. It. Yeah, it's all about the central midfield players in this formation, Derek. The two players, instead of playing next to each other, one of just play at back to the other one. Very, very important why players tuck in when they haven't got the ball to help that low midfield player in the middle of the park. So here's how Leicester City will line up. We're thinking 4-3-3. Yeah, one central striker, Derek. The width comes from the wingers, it will stay high and wide. Very narrow midfield and a conventional back four. And now Chan. Options in the middle. Can he give them the lead? And a goal! They start as they mean to continue. They make the opening statement. Well, here it is again, and all the credit goes to the goal scorer. But you have to ask questions about the keeper. He's got to have that covered for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. And it's a quality pass. Useful looking ball. They just couldn't stay in front. And now this match is all square. Well, I think the players realise what they owe this coach. Lovely sight to see them celebrating with him. Well, here it is again. It's all about the pace in transition. They were so quick to get out from the back. And he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when it's hit that hard. Well, the manager must be delighted with his team after they showed that attitude to get back into this top stuff. This might be ideal for the counter. And slipped through beautifully. Can he put it away? It must go in, surely. There it is. And he could scarcely have had an easier finish. Well, here's the replay. You've got to ask questions about the back line and the goalkeeper. They're simply not there. A chance to revisit the goal. Well, he's delighted, isn't he? We can see that. Calm is needed now just to consolidate this lead. Cool heads. Emre Can. Menzi. Real chance. And a goal. The equaliser. Superb entertainment. Well, here's the replay, and in many ways, it doesn't do justice to how patient they were in the build-up. Just so composed, waiting for the right moment, and the finish is superb, sharp, clinical. It's a lovely goal. An alert piece of defending. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. End product or not. Real chance. And a goal to re-establish their advantage. 
advantage. Just look at the celebrations. Well, here's the replay. Super fast counter-attack football at his best. But most of the blame has to be levelled at the goalkeeper. Your coach is a youngster to always protect your near post. And he just didn't do that and paid the price. Well, I think the coach can feel the game slipping away here. He's showing his frustration on the sidelines. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. He's in with a chance. And he scored not once, but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, let's see the replay and look at the pace at which the counter-attack happens. And then a 2v1, both of them teasing the goalkeeper. That really is a lovely worked goal. Charlie Mikolenko. There's the final whistle. The home fans are jubilant. They are going through. Yeah, it was a good performance. Tight game, entertaining game, back and forth. Test for both sets of players. But one side has come out on top, but only just. And the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Lee. Well, clearly the difference between the two sides today. Two goals, a really good performance, ran into the channel, did everything right. Absolutely, 9 out of 10. Hello, wherever you happen to be around the world, this is the scene here at the Stadium of Light. My name is... Well, it is without question a very special day. This is debut match. What ought we to expect from him today, Lee? Well, he should be in the thick of it today. Central midfield is where it's at. The engine room of any team. He'll be expected to chip in with all aspects of that midfield play. Let's just see how he settles in. Big day for him today, Derek.
Well, still all square, Derek, but how super goalkeeping that was, wasn't it? Well, possibilities in the centre. Can he do it? What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing, drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal! Well, here's the replay, and it's a great ball into the danger area. And all he has to do is get anything on it for a simple goal in the end. A chance to revisit the goal. Well, the manager knows the importance of that goal. He also knows that you're at your most vulnerable just after you've scored. Well, who would dare predict the outcome of matches in the championship? This is one to look forward to live on EA TV. It's Hull City against Charlton Athletic. And he's in. Surely. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, here's the goal again. And it's a great ball to put him through. And he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal. Well, no wonder he's delighted. They've been bossing this game up to now. And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time, and it's a victory for the visitors, Lee. Well, Derek, when the lead is extended to a two-goal margin, you could almost hear the sigh of relief from their supporters and the manager, too. And the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Lee. Well, clearly the difference between the two sides today. Two goals, a really good performance, ran into the channel, did everything right. Absolutely, 9 out of 10. a well-timed pass have they given him too much space can they forge ahead they do and you've got to say the good value for the lead well here it is a striker's bread and butter simple finish but it's the positioning that gets him the goal Let's have another view of that goal. Oh. 
second goal for Preston North End. 54 minutes played, 2-2. Two -two. Can he take advantage? Well, it's all going so swimmingly for them here. Another goal. And now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes. Well, here it is again. It's a lovely ball behind, perfectly timed. And how strong was he here? Incredible to hold off the defenders and get his shot away. Lovely goal. Well, there's nothing better for a manager when a plan comes together. Total satisfaction. I believe there's been a goal in the Stoke City match. Alan McAnally can tell us more. It's a third goal for Stoke City. 58 minutes played, 3-2. And he's through here. And a goal in his debut, no less. No wonder he's celebrating. Well, he'll have been dreaming about that last night. What a way to endear yourself to those fans. Well, here's the replay, and as we see, it's a class ball through to split the defence, and he composes himself, coolly slides it past a lonely keeper, who will be asking questions about where his back four went to. Now, let's see what they can do here. In it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now. Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do. And on this occasion, he does, and he scores. A chance to revisit the goal. Derek, we know they find it hard to score goals, but it's the defending or lack of it that's caught the eye today. Really poor performance, no communication, no idea really. Back to the drawing board for this lot.